Have you ever argued with your partner or shouted at your child and then regretted it? Did you feel sorry because they didn't do anything to deserve that, but it was you who was in a bad mood that day? Maybe because you were stuck in traffic on your way home, or because your car did not start in the morning and you were late to work. Or was it that annoying coworker who just wouldn't stop bothering you? Whatever the reason, you might agree that you could have acted differently and avoided making your loved one feel the way they did. But is that really possible? Can you avoid external factors like the traffic, your car failure, an annoying coworker from ruining your mood? The simple answer is yes. And I'm going to tell you how. But before I let you in on the secret, stop and think of a moment where you let an external factor get the better of you. Think about what had happened. How did it make you feel? Did your mood affect others around you? If so, how? Keep the situation in mind as you watch the video further. The mantra to not letting everything affect you lies in Stephen Covey's quote, I am not a product of my circumstances, I am a product of my decisions. Such a powerful statement, isn't it? Allow me to elaborate. In our lives, we operate in two circles, the circle of concern and the circle of influence. The circle of concern comprises things that we have no or little control over. The weather, for example, an act of terrorism, the economy, or even a pandemic. We sure care about these or they even affect us, but we can do very little to change them. The circle of influence, however, consists of things we can control and influence. Reactive individuals spend time worrying about things that are in their circle of concern. Proactive individuals, on the other hand, work hard on areas that lie in their circle of influence. That way, they can bring about a positive change in situations and relationships. But what are these things that fall in your circle of influence? The books you choose to read, the things you choose to say, the attitude you choose to have, or how you choose to spend your free time. You got it right. The key is choice. You always have a choice. So next time something gets on your nose, pause and reflect. Is this situation in my circle of influence? If not, what is the point of stressing about it? And if it is, what can I do to change it in a way that it helps me and people around me? It is in this gap between the stimulus and the response that all the magic happens. Now, let's go back to the situation you thought of. What choices did you have? If you were to relive that moment, would you choose to be proactive and respond differently? If yes, how? How do you think your proactive response could help the situation? Take a moment to think about these questions. So remember, you can expand your circle of influence by being responsible. Use words like I can, I will, I prefer, instead of I can't, I have to, if only. Create a gap between stimulus and response and consciously work on your circle of influence. And you will see how your freedom of choice changes the way you think, feel and act.